Drink water. Here, I want to watch the, the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Michael McGuff, it's time for the only news that matters. Former White Lion drummer Troy Patrick Farrell caught up with Rats drummer Bobby Blotzer in his podcast, This, That, and the Other Radio Show with Troy Patrick Farrell, where Blotzer says, Rat always crushed Motley Crue musically. They got more press, movie stars, explicit sex, murder and shit, always in the magazines. I don't think they want to go toe-to-toe with us. Now, there is some debate. I've seen some debate online. There's a lot of people that think Rat is way better than Motley Crue and vice versa. In my own personal opinion, and I'm not thinking for nobody but myself, I think Rat never made an album as good as Shot of the Devil. I love that early stuff. I love that EP and Out of the Cellar. Both amazing albums. And then after that, you know, there were some good tracks on some of these albums, but there was played by filler but I will say the albums after Shot of the Devil had more filler than the later Rat albums I think so that's how I kind of think it's kind of a tie and I loved Motley Crue 94 and I loved uh, Infestation that album they released in 2010 was phenomenal so that's why I kind of think they're kind of tied but yeah I gotta say no album they've done is as strong as Shout at the Devil, in my opinion. What is your opinion? Leave it in the comments below. What do you think? I know a lot of people think Rat is better and Out of Cellar is better than Shout at the Devil and so on, you know, and uh, leave your comments below because your opinion is legit to you. We all have opinions that are legit to ourselves. And Stephen Piercy also came out saying that they've been messing with Mick Mars for decades. This was even in the early days of Motley Crue. They wanted to get rid of him. And we all know Bob Daisley said they wanted to get Jakey Lee and, and fire Mick Mars on the Shot of the Devil tour with Ozzy. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on that we didn't know through all these years that Stephen knows. He was part of the clique. He was in that group. And he says they treated Mick bad in the beginning. And then we have other people like Bob Daisley coming out, kind of confirming it. So I kind of believe Steven on this. And uh, yeah, I already talked about Mick Mars on another interview. How, you know, I am team screw all of them in Motley Crue. I really don't care. But I will say I am glad that Bobby Blotzer and Steven Piercy ain't throwing jabs at each other in the press anymore. I saw a recent Stephen Piercy interview where he talked very nice about Bobby and now everything's chill and Warren D. Martini is the holdout. See, Warren D. Martini, uh, many don't know this. He is rich. He comes from the family of Mars Candy Bar that owns like M&Ms and all this stuff. So that guy doesn't really need the money. And I think that may be the main cause. He doesn't want to go back to Rat. And Steven's like, hey, man, I ain't doing this Rat with other players anymore because it was dishonest. He even said he didn't like it. And it was very dishonest when he went out there with Juan Cruchier and a bunch of other people that were, I thought were great. That, that lead guitar player was phenomenal. But it's not Warren D. Martini, so, you know, it's something that was burning on Stephen Piercy. It's something that should burn on all these bands that go out there with a bunch of people that nobody knows. But, hey, at least Stephen's being honest. And I think that's awesome. It really doesn't look good for a reunion with Warren D. Martini coming back. So, I don't think Stephen wants to go out there without him. So, this may really be the end of Rat. Because the only way I can see this going on is with Warren D. Martini, but we all know it'll never be Rat without King Crosby. And Steven knows this. And he's out there, you know, doing his solo shows, playing, you know, a lot of rap songs. I saw some footage online and it wasn't bad. I've seen Steven Piercy not perform well. 
Like when they opened for the Scorpions back in 2010, that wasn't a good show. But I've seen him a few times after that, and he very much improved, so. I'd go see Steven if he came my way. It looks like a fun show. Anyway, that's it. So again, what do you all think? Is Rat better than Motley Crue? Or did Rat make an album better than Shout Out the Devil? Leave it in the comments below. And I want to thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please, subscribe to my channel if you have not. And uh, click that little notification bell. And please, like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. Before we get canceled, check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast with me and Wadzilla. We are the Podcast King. Link to the podcast is in the description below and also a link to the YouTube page. Check out all their episodes with visuals. And very soon, either Ian and I will learn how to go on YouTube Live. Might be soon. So check out the greatest podcast ever, according to science.com. It's also God's favorite podcast and Satan's favorite podcast as well. So check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast before we get canceled. <laughs>